I don't believe it! Hi! <laughs> hey. hey. From timeless cinema legends to contemporary icons, certain stars are remembered not only for their performances, but also for the controversies that surrounded them. Who made the list? What are their stories? Join us as we explore the lives of the most talked about actresses in history. I stood at the back of a cathedral waiting in celibacy for you. Number 25, Bai Ling. Before becoming a Hollywood actress, Bai Ling had a colorful and turbulent past. She claims to have spent time in a mental hospital after telling people she was from the moon and that her grandmother lived there. You may recognize Bai Ling from films such as Shaolin Soccer, Lords of Dogtown, and Star Wars Episode III, Revenge of the Sith. She has also appeared on television, most recently on Celebrity Rehab. The Chinese actress has led an extraordinary life, beginning her battle with alcohol at the age of 14 while serving as a child soldier in Tibet. Number 24, Yasmin Bleeth. In 2002, former Baywatch and Base Ketball star Yasmin Bleeth was sentenced to two years probation and 100 hours community service for cocaine possession and drink driving. Yasmin seemed poised to be a mainstay in television and film, but her career took a turn for the worse when she became addicted to cocaine. She once described her addiction as similar to falling in love, calling cocaine her boyfriend, best friend, and family. Thankfully, Yasmin seems to have moved on from this turbulent chapter in her life. Number 23, Loretta Young. She had a secret love child with her co-star Clark Gable. During the filming of Call of the Wild, Young and the married Gable had an affair that resulted in Young's pregnancy. To protect her reputation, Young hid her pregnancy, claiming she had a childhood illness, and took a holiday to England. On her return to Venice, she kept her baby, Judy Lewis, for a few months before sending her to an orphanage. When Judy was 19 months old, Young brought her back and presented her to the public as an adopted child. Judy even had surgery to pin back her ears, a feature she inherited from Clark Gable. Number 22, Frances Farmer. Her troubles began when her studio hairdresser accused her of dislocating her jaw. Around the same time, she was in legal trouble for an unpaid drink driving fine. When the police came to arrest her, she resisted violently, even throwing an inkwell at a judge. The incident resulted in a 180-day sentence, but Farmer did not go quietly. She knocked down one officer and bruised another. Later, after undergoing shock therapy and clashing with her mother, she ended up living with a family she met while hitchhiking. Another arrest, this time for vagrancy, led to five years in a psychiatric hospital. Number 21, Jean Tierney. She had a brief romance with a young JFK, but his political ambitions prevented it from going further. As a result, she ended up voting for Nixon instead. Tierney contracted rubella from a fan who had snuck out of quarantine to see her, resulting in a premature birth. Her daughter was born deaf, partially blind and mentally retarded. This traumatic experience may have contributed to Tierney's bipolar disorder. After filming The Left Hand of God, Humphrey Bogart urged her to seek help. Tierney checked herself into a mental institution where she underwent 27 shock treatments. She tried to escape, but was eventually reinstitutionalized. Number 20, Mary Kate Olsen. Just two days before her 18th birthday in 2004, Mary Kate Olsen checked into rehab to treat her anorexia. Known for her journey from full house baby to young billionaire, it was shocking to see how the pressures of Hollywood were affecting her especially when she appeared noticeably thin at her Hollywood Walk of Fame ceremony that year. Fortunately, she sought help and recovered. Now she is dating Olivier Sarkozy, the brother of former French President Nicolas Sarkozy, who is not only twice her age, but also dwarfs her in height. Number 19, Carrie Fisher. In 2010, Carrie Fisher revealed that she used cocaine during the filming of Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back, particularly during the ice planet scenes. Fisher was open about her struggles with bipolar disorder and drug addiction in her book and stand-up show, Wishful Drinking. She once mentioned that she used so much cocaine that even John Belushi, known for his own drug problems, pointed out that she had a problem. When a Hollywood celebrity with a notorious drug habit tells you to slow down, it's definitely a wake-up call to reevaluate your life choices. Number 18. Brigitte Nielsen. 
Before checking into rehab in 2007, Brigitte Nielsen, the tall Danish model and actress known for her roles in Rocky IV and Red Sonja, made headlines for dating public enemies Flavor Flav. Nielsen's life has been full of headline-grabbing moments. As well as her stint on Celebrity Rehab, she had a brief marriage to Sylvester Stallone, which ended due to her infidelity. She recently revealed an affair with Arnold Schwarzenegger. It seems she has a thing for the Expendables stars. Jason Statham, you've been warned. Number 17. Marilyn Monroe In the early 1960s, Marilyn Monroe was romantically linked to President John F. Kennedy. Known for her vivacious and passionate personality, Monroe was married several times to men such as Joe DiMaggio and Arthur Miller, none of whom could quite match her intensity. However, her life was marked by more than tumultuous marriages. Monroe endured a difficult childhood with a mentally unstable mother and experienced sexual abuse within her family. Despite her worldwide popularity, she struggled with deep loneliness and emotional instability and tragically died at the age of 36 from an overdose of Nimbutal and chloral hydrate. Number 16. Tawny Kitane In 2002, Tawny Kitane, famous for her iconic scene on a Jaguar in a White Snake music video, was charged with domestic violence after she attacked her then-husband, baseball player Chuck Finley. Before the 2000s, Kitane, a former beauty queen and co-host of America's Funniest Home Videos, seemed to have a charmed life. But things took a turn for the worse after Y2K. Over the past 12 years, she has had a series of legal troubles, including domestic abuse, cocaine possession, and driving under the influence, which eventually led to a stint in drug rehab. Notably, she chose the television route to rehab, appearing on Dr. Drew's Celebrity Rehab. Number 15. Lana Turner Her daughter, Cheryl Crane, cemented her reputation as a femme fatale by fatally stabbing Turner's abusive partner. Initially known for portraying wholesome characters, Turner later gained fame for her femme fatale roles and as a World War II pineup, openly embracing her numerous romantic liaisons. Her turbulent love life included impulsively marrying a band leader, 11 years her senior on the night they met, dating a mobster, and having six other husbands. Turner once humorously remarked, My goal was to have one husband and seven children, but it turned out the other way around. Number 14. Sean Young she certainly made a bold move to secure the role of Catwoman in the 1989 Batman film, designing her own costume and surprising director Tim Burton and star Michael Keaton, despite the role not initially being in the script. Known for her unpredictable nature, Young's antics predate the era of Lindsay Lohan. Her troubled past includes incidents such as slapping a security guard at an Oscar party, disrupting speeches at the 2008 Directors Guild Awards, and being accused of stalking James Woods. Given her turbulent career, it's not surprising that her last notable TV appearance was on VH1's Celebrity Rehab with Dr. Drew Pinsky. Number 13, Elizabeth Taylor. Known for her opulent lifestyle, complete with double eyelashes, Elizabeth Taylor famously married and divorced Richard Burton twice between 1964 and 1976. Known for her eight marriages to seven different men, including Conrad Hilton and Michael Wilding, Taylor left a lasting impression on Hollywood. When asked about her numerous marriages, she once remarked, I was taught by my parents that if you fall in love, if you want to have a love affair, you get married. I guess I'm very old-fashioned. Number 12. Kristen Stewart she faced intense media scrutiny and public attention after it was revealed that she had an affair with Rupert Sanders, the married director of Snow White and the Huntsman, while she was dating her Twilight co-star Robert Pattinson. Scandalous photos of Stewart and Sanders making out surfaced, leading to a public fallout with Pattinson. Even before the cheating scandal, Stewart had attracted the attention of the paparazzi for her rebellious behavior, including flipping off photographers and being spotted smoking pot. The Sanders incident further fueled her status as tabloid fodder and marked a turbulent period in her personal and professional life. Number 11. Marlene Dietrich At one stage in her career, the iconic German-born actress Marlene Dietrich, who had become a huge star in the USA and was once the highest-paid actress in Hollywood, received a tempting offer from the Third Reich. 
While in London in 1937, Nazi officials offered her an exclusive contract to return to Germany as the leading star of Nazi cinema. Marlene Dietrich courageously refused the offer and continued to perform in the United States until 1979. However, when she visited Germany in 1960, some locals labeled her a traitor for refusing Nazi Germany's overtures. Number 10. Joan Crawford Famous for her role in Mommy Dearest and the infamous No Wire Hangers scene, this actress led a life of scandal and intrigue. Rumors circulated that she danced nude for extra cash, threw wild vodka-fueled parties, and had intense relationships. Her multiple marriages, including three to men rumored to be gay, kept her in the tabloids. Bette Davis, her famous rival, even claimed that Crawford had climbed the career ladder through relationships with both men and women. Despite the controversy, Crawford maintained her status as MGM's box office queen and cemented her place in Hollywood history. Number 9. Natasha Lyon in 2003, Natasha Lyon made headlines when she was arrested for breaking into a neighbor's home, smashing a mirror, and making a bizarre threat to her dog. From the late 1990s to the mid-2000s, Lyon enjoyed success with starring roles in films such as American Pie and Blade, Trinity. However, her life took a turbulent turn with a DUI, rumors of heroin addiction, and being evicted by her landlord, Michael Rappaport. Faced with homelessness and a period of disappearance, Lyon eventually turned up in a Manhattan hospital. The good news is that she has since turned her life around, maintaining sobriety for three years and securing roles in shows such as New Girl and American Reunion. Number 8. Jane Fonda In November 1970, Jane Fonda was arrested for drug smuggling after returning from an anti-Vietnam War fundraiser in Ohio, resulting in a famous mugshot. As well as her acting career, notably in the newsroom, Fonda is known for her activism. In the 1960s, she strongly supported the civil rights movement and opposed the Vietnam War. In the 1970s, she allied herself with Huey Newton and the Black Panthers. Fonda's activism was not without controversy. During a trip to Vietnam, she was famously photographed sitting on a Vietnamese anti-aircraft gun, an act she later explained by saying she was caught up in the moment and not fully aware of her surroundings. Number 7. Pam Anderson in 1996, Pam Anderson, known for her roles in Home Improvement and Baywatch, and her then-husband, Motley Crue drummer Tommy Lee, caused a sensation with one of the most famous celebrity sex tapes ever released. Pam Anderson's fame extended beyond her numerous appearances in Playboy and multiple marriages, but the release of her home video catapulted her to even greater prominence. Number 6. Jane Mansfield in 1963, Jane Mansfield broke barriers by being one of the first to appear nude in the film Promises, Promises. Known for her daring style, such as getting married in a see-through dress, she embraced the spotlight and enjoyed staging photo shoots in her heart-shaped swimming pool. Mansfield was a prominent sex symbol in the late 1950s and early 1960s. Tragically, her life ended abruptly at the age of 34 in a car accident involving her children, including Mariska Hargitay. This untimely event cut short the vibrant career and colorful life of a Hollywood icon. Number 5. Margot Kidder In 1996, Margot Kidder, known for her role as the first Lois Lane in appearances in horror films such as The Amityville Horror, faced significant challenges due to her bipolar disorder. She experienced a severe manic episode that led to harrowing circumstances. Kidder was found hiding in the bushes in Los Angeles in a distressed state, undressed, and without her dental caps. During her manic episode, she wandered the streets and even shared a makeshift shelter with a homeless man. Kidder was eventually found in a backyard, her hair cut short, and her dental bridge missing. Her struggles with mental health drew attention to the difficulties faced by people living with bipolar disorder. Number 4. Drew Barrymore The actress faced challenges early in her life, having been in and out of rehab twice by the age of 13 and starting to use cocaine at the age of 12. Despite these difficulties, she went on to become a global superstar. Barrymore's early years were marked by unconventional experiences, including access to Los Angeles nightclubs and adult behavior rather than a typical childhood and adolescence. Her journey from a young age reflects a unique, and challenging path to her later success in Hollywood. Number 3. 
Roseanne Barr. She sparked controversy across America when she famously botched the national anthem at a San Diego Padres game in 1990. Known for her comedy that sometimes blurs the line between sharp wit and shock value, Barr has faced criticism for various incidents. Her irreverent approach, such as not taking the national anthem seriously and dressing up as Hitler while jokingly eating cookies, has at times sparked outrage and debate. These moments have highlighted the provocative nature of her comedic style and its impact on public perception. Number 2. Courtney Love She has indeed had her fair share of turbulent moments, including visibly intoxicated appearances on the likes of David Letterman and the Comedy Central roast of Pamela Anderson. Her life has been marked by drug-related arrests and probation violations, leading to a six-month stint in rehab for cocaine use. Despite these challenges, Love has showcased her talents as a musician and actress, delivering notable performances in films such as Man on the Moon and The People vs. Larry Flint. But her offstage antics have also attracted attention, from public feuds with Dave Grohl to controversial social media comments about her daughter, Frances Bean Cobain. These incidents have underscored Love's volatile journey through fame and personal struggle. Number 1. Mae West before she found fame in Hollywood, Mae West made waves on Broadway with the play X, which she wrote, directed, and produced. The play's racy content landed her in jail for 10 days on charges of corrupting the morals of the young. Famous for her bold personality and unforgettable one-liners, Mae West always brought her A-game, combining appeal with shock value. Some of her classic zingers include lines like, A hard man is good to find, and good X is like good bridge. If you don't have a good partner, you better have a good hand. West's fearless attitude and provocative humor made her an enduring icon of wit and glamour. And there you have it, folks. We've just taken a deep dive into the lives of the 25 most infamous actresses of all time. From scandalous love affairs to headline-grabbing controversies, these stars have truly left their mark on Hollywood history. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.